Hi Virgo, welcome to your October 2017 love reading. It's Raina here, shuffling the cards. Whoa, I can't believe how many good cards you got in one simple spread. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Of course, it can work both ways, can't it? So you got on the lucky end of things. Okay. For the... The focus or the heart of the matter, we have the Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment in a love reading, typically getting the person that you want. And um, there's a feeling of just satisfaction. And that feeling is something that people do initially experience in, when, when they're in love, that euphoric feeling. Even materially, this card can indicate some kind of uh, abundance, but at least an abundance of emotion that is on the positive end. But then we look at the, the past position. Why is that? The sun card, falling in love. Feeling that sense of renewal that comes. Now, um, what I like about the sun card is the sun re represents our self-identity. And so when we look at the sun card, sometimes we can see what kind of careers a person will gravitate towards, what the core of their personality will be like, and things of that nature. And because of this, when you have... Um, a love situation, it's like, I should have, um, I got distracted by that noise, but um, you see how these people are looking at each other, they're mirroring that light within the other. That's really what um, falling in love is. You're really falling in love with yourself, not in a narcissistic way. The other person is reflecting your goodness back to you. And it's like they're discovering, you're, you're discovering how good of a person you are through that other person. And um, yes, of course, some people are very pragmatic and they don't really gush when they are in love, maybe both parties. But in general, we tend to think the best of that person in a healthy relationship and verbalize it. And that other person feels really good. Now for Virgo, this is especially helpful because Virgo tends to be um, self-critical and can find a lot of fault within oneself and maybe is inhibited and things like that. So when you find somebody who appreciates you and who tells you good things about you, the Nine of Cups is showing that sense of being fulfilled with um, that. Um, it's not that they're giving you self-esteem, but they are giving you a window to all of your qualities, your good qualities. And what is currently featured here is the king of wands. Sometimes this can be the person. So this could be an actual Leo person, 
one of the fire signs that you are involved with. Um, Leo, I would say for, for a lot of you, this is describing that person. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If it's not the sun sign, they will have a very warm demeanor and they're very positive in their, in their speech and enthusiastic and energetic. If this is an aspect of yourself, you're getting a shot of confidence and, and you know, like a boost from it. And it's making you feel like you can take on anything. Here's another king. So we're getting this um, masculine, this young energy. The king of cups, though, is more of a, <clears throat> you know, like a, a very compassionate energy. It, it combines the feminine and masculine principles. <clears throat> the, the, the king of wands is like a double masculine. It's very, very, very um, much assertive and things like that. This is a, a, an intuitive person, a mature person. As the higher message, this could be if you have a father, now your father may not be in the physical anymore. Uh, it doesn't matter. That person may have brought you and this person in love together. So somebody from the other side who is a caring older male from your life may have um, orchestrated this. This could also be talking about the influence of a caring male, perhaps um, in some cases, th this is the higher message, so it's like a spiritual look at this, the, this particular situation. And um, unless it's some kind of a counselor or some kind of religious figure that's also featured that enabled you to get into a, a space where you were able to attract a healthy partner that could also be featured but it doesn't have to be somebody in the physical dimension it could be somebody who is kind of pulling the strings and making things happen basically it may be even a spirit guide but somebody who is um, like in other words it's saying to you that there are unseen forces that are helping you at all times what crosses you is the magician um, hmm, in this particular context, there may be a part of you, depending on your own makeup, who is like, maybe there's a, a, a little bit of fear-based mentality still within you. The magician in the upright position is somebody who understands their place as a conscious co-creator. In other words, they know that the actions they take determine their future. With this card, there may be this feeling of this was a fluke. This is, this is too good to be true. And you may doubt yourself. And you may think that this is something that could be taken away very easily. And so there may be some kind of fear attached to this that you have to overcome. Sometimes the, the most challenging parts of our lives, Virgo, are when good things happen to us. I have found this to be true and it blew my mind because if you are used to having roadblocks, having things not go the way you wanted, and then something good or good things start to happen, you may distrust it. And you may feel like the other shoe's going to drop or that there must be some mistake. I, I'm not worthy. I don't deserve it. In this, in this um, challenging position, a feeling of disempowerment, a feeling of not being in control of the things that happen in your life. Now, obviously, we're not 100% in control and we have to dance between what we can do and then uh, surrendering to what we can't do. But there's always, there's usually something that you can personally do to 
ensure that some, something stays um, the way you want it. If, if you're afraid of losing somebody, even if you've just started dating them, then that may be a something within you that, um, like if you did lose a father, possibly at a young age, where you may be afraid uh, of getting close to somebody, that could all be tied into this card in some way. And that's something that you have to kind of acknowledge, observe, you know, observe, acknowledge, and then vow to let go of the need to control. Actually, in that situation, you would not be trying to control things. You would be trusting in the universe that if something is meant to be, it's going to be. What's coming in is the Knight of Swords. Um, I, you know, when I see this card in a love reading, sometimes I think of lawyers. So I don't know if any of you uh, were separated when you met a new person or not, but this could be consulting a lawyer. Maybe, maybe this is about fearing leaving your current life because you don't think anything is going to really work out. But this could be that you decide to consult a lawyer. It could be um, that um, there's going to be some movement at the time of the new moon in Libra, which is connected to swords energy. This is happening on October 19th. So maybe that's an important date for you in terms of this new relationship that you're having. Um, the Knight of Swords is really talking about somebody who is blunt. Maybe it's that person again, because it's actually, I found out when I was reading, I think the Knight, the Knight is a kind of a fire energy, element energy, and then Swords is air. So somebody who has a combination of air and fire, maybe a Leo sun and a Gemini moon or something along those lines. But, um, this person is very blunt in speech and they're very, they can be even strident in how they talk. They, you know, in other words, always preaching and opinionated. Um, and that may just be describing the type of person that they are. But um, the outcome is a card of marriage, family joy, family harmony. So again, if there is... Um, a lawyer, a legal situation, you may decide to follow through to the relief of your family and this restores your peace if you were living in a combative household, for instance. But this could be that this is a keeper, this person, and that you are going to end up with this person. It's like the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So let's review here. I got the, the nine and ten of cups in the sun. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> Virgo. So you got some really nice love cards. And um, I hope that you enjoy this. If you'd like a private reading, please click the link below. Otherwise, enjoy your October. Bye.